my name is Lindsay, and today I'm going to help you guys come up with a routine to candy farm. So in this video, I'm going to talk about ways I like to candy farm as well as extra ways you can get candy. When the update first came out, I only had 19 candies. So I'm going to put a screenshot on the screen to show you. And now I have 10,301 candies and I've been spending the majority of my time in the May. So I am quite proud of the amount of candies I have. And since the majority of the people who watch my videos do not have private servers, I am going to switch over to a public server to try and make this candy farming guide as public server friendly as possible. Okay, so I made it to a public server. And now that you guys have seen the amount of candies I have, I'm going to quickly spend them and I'm going to buy the Halloween teen candy bank locker door because this locker door can get you candies and I want to test out how well this works for this video so let's go ahead and purchase it okay so the first thing that I like to do and this is a very important step I feel like when getting lots of candies because it does give you a lot of candy is go around campus and collect all the candy from the candy bowls so the first candy bowl is over here in main campus it is right across from the crowns and so we have 301 candies and now we're going to collect candy from the bowl and we will have 423 candies so it gives you over 100 candies so now let's go ahead and go into the front office and collect from this candy bowl. Okay, so now we're going to come over to Poppy's desk or the front office desk and collect candy from the candy bowl. And now we have 526 candies. Fun fact, if you are over level 1500 and you have access to the teacher's lounge, there is a candy bowl in there. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here and collect this candy bowl because I can. So let's go ahead and enter the teacher's lounge and we're going to walk to the middle part of the lounge and right here is another candy bowl. So let's go ahead and collect candy from this candy bowl. And now we have 640 candies. Let's go ahead and go to Locker Courtyard next because the next candy bowl we're going to collect from is in the rainy day classroom. Okay, so we need to be really quick because we do not want to join a round. So we need to quickly collect the candy and it looks like I might end up in a round. It is fine, I'm going to purposely get out. So now we have 700 candies. We are so close to 1,000 candy. And we will be coming back to the locker courtyard because of the locker door, but I want to do that after I collected all the candy from the candy bowl. So next we need to go to the dormitory bathing quarters. And this one is really close to the entrance. So we are just going to collect the candy. Looks like we got 759. So this one so far has given us the least amount of candy. Okay, we made it to the dorm. So now we need to claim a dorm. So now that I have my dorm, I do have two items in my dorm that will give you candy. So we can collect on the candy bowl and you can collect candy from other players candy bowl But right now I notice a lot of the players don't have a candy bowl or they just keep their dorm rooms Closed so you can't even get into their dorm to collect from the candy bowl So as of the recording of this video, which is early on in the update I feel like trick-or-treating in the dorms aren't very useful But you can also get this headstone and it will give you candy if you shake it and it might not give you candy right away, so basically what you want to do is keep on shaking it. And it will give you candy more than once, so make sure you keep clicking on it. And you know when it's out of candy because you'll have this green hand coming out of your floor and waving at you. And I guess we can go around quickly and see if anybody has an open dorm with a candy bowl. This person put their candy bowl outside of their dorm, so we can go ahead and collect the candy. So let's quickly go around and do that. There's another candy bowl we can collect from. And here is a third candy bowl. And also this is the final dorm. So I was only able to collect from 
three other players candy bowls in this server so trick-or-treating in the dorms is not the most effective method but it is a way to get extra candy and now we have 830 candy now before we go back to Wickery Cliffs, we are going to go back to the locker courtyard because of the locker door. The only problem with the locker door is it is 10,000 candy, so you do spend a lot of candy on the locker door, and it might take a while for you to earn all that candy back. And it does fill up as you are playing, so I did buy this locker door at the beginning of the video, and I went around campus collecting candy and now it is at 51 candy so if you want a way to earn candy while you're playing the locker door might be that method but again pretty expensive so i was gonna wait until my locker door reached the max amount of candy before i cashed out but i've been standing here for quite a while something i notice is the more candy that you can cash out the longer it takes to go up like early on when I first put the locker door on it was going up really fast and it slowed down a lot so I'm just gonna go ahead and cash out so we could go to a wickery cliffs and so every hour you can come to the school and collect from the candy bucket I really recommend you doing so because it does give you a lot of candy so if you've been around on my channel for a while you may have heard me say during my diamond farming routines that I don't like to stick with one routine because I get bored and I do feel similarly with candy farming so I will switch between trick-or-treating and ghost hunting. I feel like those two are pretty equal especially if you're playing in a public server. So what I am going to do is I have 959 candies. So I'm going to go around the neighborhood one time and we will see how much I end up earning. So I went around to all of the houses and now we have 1,160 candies. And when we started candy farming, we only had 301 candies. And when I am done with trick-or-treating or bored with trick-or-treating, I will ghost hunt. So if you are brand new to Royal High and you've never played with Great Clothes before and never ghost hunted before i'm going to quickly explain how you do it so i'm just going to fly to blackwood manor so we made it to blackwood manor and if you don't know how to get here all you do is follow the road through the neighborhood and up the hill and you should see it so let's go ahead and join the ghost hunting mini game now one thing I like to do is turn my graphics all the way down and then I go into the settings and I put on autumn evening. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ghost gun and since I have an autumn evening filter on I don't need the headlamp or night vision goggles. So now we are going to join and look how bright it is. So now we got to find a ghost. And sometimes you may hit other people's ghosts. And if you do do that, it is fine. You will get candies because the game will read you as helping them take down the ghost. And I am not going to worry about the size of the ghost I'm going to take down because I am just doing this video to explain how to play ghost hunting to you. So basically, you find a ghost and you will hit them and you'll take down their health bar. And you will follow them around until their health is down. And then when their health is down, it will say trapped and you will suck them in. And we got 14 candies for that. So we got 9 candies for shooting and 5 candies, I guess, for helping. And the bigger the ghost, the more candies you will get. And the more you shoot the ghost, the more candies you will get. So right here actually is a big ghost. We got lucky. One just showed up. So we are going to help take it down. This will give us a lot of candies. And again, the more times you hit it, the more candies you will get. So it is very important you follow them. And now we are capturing it. It is through the wall, but we are still close enough to it we can capture. And we ended up getting 36 candies. So 12 candies for shooting, 21 candies for capturing, and three candies for a teammate bonus. Now again, what I do is go around the school and collect all the candy bowls. Then I come to Wickery Cliffs and I will switch between trick-or-treating as well as ghost hunting. I hope this video has helped you know how to get lots of candies or helped you decide on how you want to make your candy farming routine. 
Please make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that bell notification so you never miss any posts. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!